Michelle Rourke is a world-class ski champion, and she does like to win. She's also a newcomer to the not-so-delicate business of perfumes and fragrance with her Denver-based company, Phenomenal Perfume. It is a very tough market to break into as a new brand. And if you have celebrity status, that's great. Uh, but even celebrities have difficulty building brand awareness in the fragrance market. I'm not afraid of, of getting um, negative feedback because it just helps me be better. Um, and and I'm, I'm not afraid. I'm not, I'm not afraid to go out and try something. It seems to make sense that a competitive athlete would also make a good entrepreneur, but let's turn to this week's board of directors to get their opinion and to hear what you can learn from Olympians when it comes to your own business. Colleen DeBase is the small business editor at the Wall Street Journal and author of the book, Wall Street Journal Complete Small Business Guidebook. Phil Town is an investment advisor and author of the new book, Payback Time. And Ryan Blair is the CEO of Visala Sciences and author of the new book, Nothing to Lose. All of you guys have new books out. <laughs> I know, Ryan, you, you've had an extraordinary life that you've documented. You guys have great books also. I love this story. She's so cute, That's right? Amazing. I mean, you can't, you can't not fall in love with her. I feel like such an underachiever after watching yeah, that. You know, here she is. You're just kind of a scary her. part of her whole thing, right? If you're, if you're putting money into something like that from a venture capital point of view and you've got a person doing three careers at the same time, that's a little iffy. I wonder if athletes have that issue going on. I wouldn't count her out. She's definitely all over the place. Uh, but I would, I would definitely think her competitiveness and her tenacity was going to be her advantage, uh, but it's she's lacking a lot of focus. I would say that would be. I, I disagree because I think you can never count an Olympian out, and I think Olympic uh, Olympic athletes make the best business owners. You know, if you think about it, you need you need to be pretty fearless when you start a business. There's a lot of challenges. You have that naturally as an yeah, athlete. Yeah, I, I partnered with Bodie Miller in a project called Ski Space. So I mean, I know the Olympic athlete very well. It's all about focus. I wouldn't count her out. Uh, so don't get me wrong. I think she could do great but it's not a traditional person you'd back. I and mean, this is an overachiever, an Olympian. She's going to do but great. the focus that you take, I mean, the focus that you need to be an Olympian, if you could transfer that, look, I mean, Olympic careers don't last forever. Yeah, but the problem is in, in athletics, you have a very defined box yeah. you're focusing in. The rules are very clear. You know what to work on. Usually it's physical head stuff that she's talking well, about. But the business space yeah. is really wide open. You and, have and coaches. It's very tough to get it nailed yeah. down like that. Well, in, in athletics, you have coaches, right? Yeah. So you have a program you're a part of. In business, you tend not to have coaches. You have your board of advisors. Yeah. Well, and hopefully if you, you have a board of advisors. And, that, and that's something yeah. you should definitely do right away, is set up your board of advisors. Is there anything that we can take away? I know you've been looking at Olympians mm -hmm. who are yeah. athletes, um, I mean, who are entrepreneurs. Is there anything we can take away from what you've seen? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think there are certain traits that Olympians have that are, make them good business owners, like we were saying. Um, stamina is a big one, too. You know, uh, to be able to get through the startup phase and to be able to deal with a bad economy, you need to have stamina. And the competitive nature mm -hmm. of athletics that you know that is yeah, a great yeah. thing to bring to the dealing marketplace. with failure dealing with rejection mm -hmm. yeah. ability to you know get the, back up when you fall down the thing that consultant was saying was I think a little bit a result of seeing what consultants see which is a lot of failure right and I think that if if, if you deal with what she's dealing with this athlete she's gonna go through this process where initially everybody's gonna say it won't work and everybody but does hey, it. I mean every entrepreneur the, everybody says that, it. Right? and then you get to where it's working a little bit and then somebody like that consultant yeah. would say it's trivial everybody's got that and then you successful and that yeah. same consultant would come back and say see I knew it all the yeah. time she was in that space and yeah. I knew it all the time it's because she was an athlete. <laughs> you don't believe in consultants I don't <laughs> really love that she had it all covered she's gonna fail but she's not one she's thing that I love that she said is you have to have, be patient with your dreams yeah and, and then they come true. You've, you've clearly had a dream come true. Well, yeah, you know, my, my advice to her is continue to be consistent with it, you know, focus on it. I think she'll be very successful. Most entrepreneurs quit before they even get started. They hear the naysayers, yeah. they drop out. You know, I've uh, built multi, multi-million dollar companies because I never quit when people told me I should, and that's the truth. Thanks for all this advice.